city bosses have hit back at the EU's lead Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, for suggesting a trade deal between the bloc and Britain cannot include special arrangements for financial services. Square Mile lobby group Thesa Tyok branded Mr. Barnier a Scrooge for ruling out a bespoke agreement for cross-border frictionless trade between banks and other financial firms. There is no place for financial services. There is not a single trade agreement that is open to financial services. It doesn't exist, Mr. Barnier told newspapers including The Guardian. Miles Selleck, chief executive of Thesa Tyok, responded, it might be Christmas, but Michelle Barnier doesn't need to play Scrooge. Just because financial services have not been encompassed in free trade agreements to date, that is no reason to dismiss them from a future UK-EU free trade agreement. Mr Barnier's comments will heighten concerns Brussels plans to take a hard line in Brexit trade talks and pay little heed to British business sector's specific needs. The city has been lobbying hard for politicians on both sides of the channel to push for a bespoke deal, amid warnings failure to get one will cost tens of thousands of UK financial sector jobs. Both the Bank of England and consultant EY have predicted around 10,000 city jobs could go on day one of Brexit if no deal is agreed. Brexit Secretary David Davis has described his ideal trade deal as Canada++++, referring to an agreement struck last year between the EU and Canada. The reason it would be plus 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 is because no EU deal, including the Canada one, has included arrangements for services including banking. But Mr Davis argues such a deal is nonetheless achievable. Mr Barnier said Britain's negotiating red lines, including ending freedom of movement and the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, made a services agreement impossible. He added, in leaving the single market, they lose the financial services passport. Thesa Tyok's M. R. Selleck urged Brussels to be more open-minded. He added, services make up around 80% of the UK's economy and around 70% of the EU's, with financial services making up a significant component of that. It is vital for the future competitiveness of the UK and Europe as a whole that UK and EU negotiators work to secure an ambitious and comprehensive deal.